What's good, everybody? We are back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today and a great start to your new year. As you guys probably saw from the title, we are going to be talking about things that noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile. Now, if I say something in this video that you do, please don't take it offensively. Just take it as constructive criticism, learn from it, and then stop doing it. And then drop a like on the video because we've all been noobs at one point or another and we've all got to start from somewhere. If you see anything in this video that you used to do, then you better drop a like as well so we can get this video to 3,000 likes and break our previous record. I know there are a bunch of you that are probably wondering about the Red Magic 3S giveaway. We are going to be announcing that giveaway winner later today on the stream channel. You don't have to be in the stream live in order to accept the giveaway because I'll be responding to the comments comment of the winner. But if you would like to see the giveaway winner announced live, you can subscribe to the stream channel, which will be linked down in the description. But anyways, hopping into our list of things that noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile. Number one would be using a recon site on your sniper. There's a few different reasons for this, and probably a lot of people in the comments are going to disagree with me on this one. And maybe even some people that didn't even realize that there was a non-recon site that you could use on the sniper. Actually, the default site for the sniper is the one that you will see most pro snipers using, and there's a reason for that. Even though the recon site might be easier to use, it might be less challenging to aim in your shots. At the end of the day, it's going to be the choice of noobs who want to be able to snipe because number one, it requires less skill, but number two, it's also a lot less precise. Basically using the default, using the default site on the sniper is going to be a lot more precise because it allows you to quick scope. You can't really quick scope effectively while using the recon site on the sniper, whether that would be the Arctic 50 or the DLQ. But number two, whenever there actually is a Call of Duty mobile esports scene, any competitive rules are going to outlaw using a recon site on a sniper. And so any type of skill that you've developed around using the recon site on either the DOQ or the Arctic 50 is going to be obsolete. And everybody else is going to already know how to use the default site on their sniper because that's what they've been using for the start. Like I said, it's a lot more precise as well whenever you're quick scoping. If your crosshair alignment is correct, it's a lot easier to hit a quick shot with the default site on a sniper than it is with the recon site. The second thing that all noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile, and we've probably all been guilty of at one point or another, is camping. Now, there's pretty obvious reasons for why people would want to camp. Obviously, it makes you more difficult to hit, and also makes it easier for you to time your shots and line them up because you got a lot more time to do so, and especially if you've got a sniper, the enemy probably doesn't know where you are. As you can see right here, I'm able to get a lot of kills, but the reason that this is a noob thing to do and not something that you'll ever see pros doing is because once you get to the higher tiers, pro players, number one, know how to find you whenever you're camping. Number two, if you've been camping your entire life, you've never been learning how to move properly in Call of Duty Mobile, and movement is such a huge factor in the game that camping is actually hurting you because it's preventing you from getting the proper practice of how to move and take those close range fights, which are really what makes somebody a great Call of Duty mobile player. While there might be some specific situations where it's helpful to camp, it's definitely not something that you want to make a regular habit because it's really holding you back from practicing to the best that you can. The next thing that you'll probably see a lot of noobs do is slide around a bunch whenever using dead silence. Now this is less of a noob thing and more of just a tip that most people need to know, but basically dead silence is the most OP perk in the game, and sliding is the only thing that you can do to give away your position. So. When you slide in a game of search and destroy or in a game of TDM, you're giving away your position that your enemy probably didn't know and completely defeating the purpose of the perk itself. If you're a true noob, you probably didn't even realize that Dead Silence was a good perk and were probably running something random like Hardline or Engineer or something like that. But regardless, noobs are going to slide around a ton in Call of Duty Mobile even when they do have Dead Silence on. The next thing that you'll see a lot of noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile is try to push in and take fights that they know they probably shouldn't just to get a couple of extra kills. This is something that I've honestly been victim of for a while and only just now realize how to choose between fights that I should and shouldn't take. But like you saw right there, 
Rushing into a 1v3 gunfight with an MSMC, usually not a good idea unless you are insanely good with your MSMC and you're pretty confident that the people you're going up against are absolutely terrible at the game. Most of the time, noobs will just rush in because they see a couple kills that they can get, whereas somebody that's more experienced in the game will back off, reassess the situation, and look at how they can approach it so that they can maintain their life, maintain their score streaks, and everything else, and be able to help their team more rather than just going in for those extra couple of kills. The next thing that noobs tend to do a lot in Call of Duty Mobile is hardscope. Now, there are definitely situations where hardscoping is actually useful and can be very beneficial, like when you know where your enemy is and are able to predict where they are, but most noobs will hardscope in Call of Duty Mobile just because they want to already be aimed in and don't have to take the time to aim in and then move their sight as well. Quick scoping is definitely a necessary skill you're going to need to learn in Call of Duty Mobile, especially if you want to play at the higher ranks. That's because, like you can see right here, hard scoping, especially with the default sight, prevents you from being aware of your surroundings, and that's something that noobs typically just tend to not think about. They tend to tunnel vision on what's in front of them rather than thinking about the game as a whole. And noobs just, in general, don't have great map awareness, and hard scoping is usually something that results from poor map awareness. The next thing Call of Duty Mobile noobs do is go to a Bobby Plays video and choose not to hit the subscribe button. The next thing that Call of Duty Mobiles do is just let an enemy UAV sit up in the sky and completely ignore it. This is honestly such an easy thing to do and can help your team out in a huge way. And I honestly see people that don't even remember to do it whenever they're playing in like Master and Legendary tier. They'll just let an enemy UAV sit up in the sky, which makes it a hundred times easier to predict where your enemies are going to be and will most likely end up letting your team get wrecked because the enemy knows exactly where you are and can predict you and hard scope you whenever they need to. Noobs will always let UAVs sit up in the sky and forget to shoot them down, which is such an easy thing to do and thinking about it honestly makes me annoyed because I can think of the amount of times that I've heard enemy UAV inbound and just done nothing about it and it probably would have won my team the game. The next thing noobs tend to do in Call of Duty Mobile is pull out their operator skill whenever they are A, weak, or B, heading into the middle of a fight when they don't know where enemies are. Whenever you're pulling out your operator skill, that's something that you want to value a lot, especially if you're in ranked gameplay because operators are so overpowered, especially the Sparrow skill. A lot of noobs will go into a fight, and when I say noobs, I mean me, will go into a fight not knowing where enemies, any of their enemies are at all, not having a UAV up, just blindly going in and waste their Sparrow or whatever operator skill they have because they didn't think the situation through and value that because that can easily represent five, six, seven kills if you use it correctly. And instead you just full send into it and completely let it go to waste because you pull it out right before you die. And that brings us to our last thing that noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile, which is letting their score streaks go to waste. Now, there's a number of different ways that you can let your score streaks go to waste, and probably some score streaks that only noobs are going to use. You won't see a whole lot of pro players that use the care package because it's completely randomized, and you want to be able to know what you're getting from your score streaks. But most score streaks are up to preference. There are definitely good ways and bad ways to spend score streaks, though. I'll use, for example, the UAV, which is arguably the most useful score streak in the game. Now, like I just showed, it is possible to shoot down a UAV. But even if you only have one for a few seconds, having those few seconds where you know where your enemies are and able to predict where they are can be a massive advantage. If you have a UAV or a counter UAV, you never want to play that at the end of a half in a game of domination. There's other situations that apply as well. Molotov, if there's not a specific area that your teammates are going to, or your enemies are going to be coming from, and a lot of different situations that this applies to, but... I guess the moral of the story is value your score streaks and use them at optimal times rather than kind of just letting them go to waste. And I can think of plenty of times where I've called in a UAV when it's 49 on a game of domination. And as soon as I call the UAV in, it just absolutely goes to waste.
So that is going to be it for our video of things that noobs do in Call of Duty Mobile. If you guys feel like I forgot anything, feel free to drop it in the comments down below. And hopefully we can make a next newer, more updated, maybe funnier version of this. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.